I just got Elden Ring voice actors on working with uh, Had Haditsuka Miyazaki. Now, I do I know how to pronounce his last name. I do not know how to pronounce his first name. This man is the GOAT. This man is the greatest. This man created, like, Dark Souls. He created Elden Ring. He created... Um, 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 bro, he's like the Steven Spielberg of the video game industry. I'm sorry, let's go to the video. When you, when you met him, were you a bit nervous? Listen, man, this man's like the, like, he might be the GOAT. He might be, he, listen, uh, uh, he might be the greatest. He came, he came in and he went, um, Actual. And again, the first ever game I've ever done one before. And the, the, a note came from my voice agent saying, uh, they want to see you, Liquid Violet, uh, okay. want to see you for this game. Uh, it's uh, Hidetaki Miyazaki's game. And I went, Hidetaki, oh, okay. <laughs> what? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> He's oh, is, it, is it Elden Ring? Oh, he, oh, he got starstruck. And this was January 2020. Oh, oh yep. snap. Yeah, and so then I did. I went into Liquid Violet. This is before COVID, and then did a little you know, voice testy thing. And then uh -huh. two weeks later, and then I think a week after that, uh, Miyazaki san was over, and we were recording. Oh, I snap. And, and it must um, be crazy, bro. Like, he's really big in the video game industry, y'all. If you, if you guys didn't know who he is. Big fun of the games. Uh, said I love, love Bloodborne. Then said, um, although, uh, Sekiro, too hard. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, that Fire Giant boss <laughs> look a little... It look ugly. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't mean to judge, but it, that thing look hideous. I just went, wow. no. no I but whoever designed it, though, you did a really good job. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> So, but, so um, yeah, continue, please. Yeah, so, um, so, uh, so I was like a kid in a, in a sweet shop having this in a sweet shop. Consider the greatest game director from you know uh, uh, going ever, and to see I mean, well, he's it, technically not wrong. Was, oh, I was, I was, I was in bits. Of course. Yeah. Oh. So I was, I was, I was, yeah, I, I was properly really chuffed uh, just to have met him and but also to hey if i meet him bro him. i can't lie to you bro I, yeah. I i want like bro i gotta get something i gotta take yes, a picture no, i can't he, lie to you he, he came to london to do and i don't take many pictures um, with nobody i, I promise yeah. i don't really take pictures with like yeah, celebrities yeah, or whatever but like to casting uh well the, the recording studio wow so you had four different designers in the room muting you yeah. and, oh oh goodness. snap the pressure yeah the pressure was crazy yeah, well that's what do it no, there was, hey, pressure makes there diamonds, was, though. We all know that. Miyazaki, and then there was there was his team, and then there was you know there was Adam who was in there with them, being the go between. Um, but I was in in the recording booth, and then the engineer plus the the game designers. Oh wait, so they were like they probably like were critiquing like every line basically. The, uh, the, the game, the, the room with them. Yes, yeah. I think I managed to speak a couple of words in Japanese to him. Oh, okay, nice. okay, okay. Uh, just I don't know any words uh, in Japanese. I'm gonna be honest with you. Politeness and uh, and respect. Okay. Um, but no, I don't. But and he was lovely, really. Oh, that's nice. It's nice I to hear. That's true of every single job I've ever done in the gaming world. You know, the translator was amazing. Would just say to Adam, "This is what uh, Miyazaki wants," and then Adam would, you know, just kind of say to me, you know, exactly what Miyazaki has said. And okay. Um, there's a nice balance of trying to find what it is and then when you're in the flow of it when you're you know once you've got it once you've got that voice and the character yeah it's great it's really it's 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 just great I, bro i forgot there was so like no i forgot the like the, like the languages like, like the oh they they all rave they all rave yeah. on it yeah. it's the sound engineer who i was doing it with was like you know in breaking into <laughs> oh snap he was sweating he was sweating crazy how are you still like reacting like this? i mean bro it's the goat bro you get like you know like really this is like the biggest opportunity and like i was interested by how much Miyazaki referred back to my audition when i was in the sound oh that means you did a really good job then he'd listened to like every sound of it and was like oh you did this thing in the audition where you made a noise. Oh, he's a uh, he's a perfectionist. I love it. Word. I love it. He's a perfectionist. And I would be like the oh, audition wow. that I did in Spain. Like, <laughs> like wow. that man's a perfectionist. Um, wow. Yeah. Really. So then, so from then on, I was like, okay, this guy is a master for detail, and I love to work. He's a visionary. With detail, but of course, it's all translated. So he's with his whole office in Tokyo. It's like three a.m. their time. He says something, it's translated, it then comes through to my director. Oh, he then basically snap. translates it into actuary talk. 
and then comes through. So they're me, breaking everything like, down, like and and which like line like, by line. Word is is wow. discussed, and it's it's beautiful, it's beautiful, and and the engineer would be like, I'm so sorry, like this is this is intense, and I was like, I've never been happier, like I've never. Oh been snap! Okay, You're soaking it up, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, so it's really detailed working with him. Imagine like, having that whole team. There were like imagine having that like on your resume go on the Zoom into the booth. Like and I worked like, with Miyazaki. That'd be crazy. And writers like editing the the dialogue as he went along. And, yeah, I honestly was like, this is the coolest experience. I mean, hey, that's cool though. And you did you did you feel that pressure at all, or did you ease into it pretty no, quickly? No, I felt a pressure of this is his baby. Like I found out he'd been working on it for like over ten years. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. okay, so I'm working with a visionary. Yep. I have to just serve him. Like I have no ego in this whatsoever. I just want to do the best thing possible for this man Wait. who's who's imagined and all these Wait, so do voice movies. actors have ego though? Um, and I also thought the character didn't know like, act, like actual question, actual and, actual question because um, I don't know. All I had to go on was just a little sort of sketchy picture of her. Did you get a chance? Did did Miyazaki call in for you for Elden Ring or for Dark Souls, the um, creator of those games? I'm not sure whether he was there. Okay. There was one. Hey, there's a lot of Brits. On, uh, there's a lot of Brits um, on, like on the front lines right here. Okay, I, I kind of like it. In, in a studio, all the the, the Japanese um, sort of big wigs. But yeah, you guys know, like, if I would have uh, if I would have voice acted in Elden Ring, I would have won a Grammy. Spoke, spoke English, but I I felt I felt God. I you know I better make this work. And I remember I I sort of slightly. I, I was doing. I had to do a lot of dying. Oh, <laughs> and I, 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 I couldn't stop myself. It just happened. I, I made the sounds more and more samurai. As, as I went on. Wait, why samurai though? So what do you it, mean it, samurai? That's what I'm saying. Why would you? Do... So it was. It was much more like sort of something from uh, Ran. You know, oh, Kurosawa. Yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah, and. Uh, 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 it was. Just, I. I mean, I didn't mean to. It just happened. It was just one of those things that you do. It was probably nerves as much as anything. But um. So you anyway. still do get nervous. Oh, I, only then actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It was. It was quite. Um, it was quite intimidating. But they all. They all went. I mean, bro. When you have like four uh, people watching it, you do your do your like audition or whatever, it's gonna be. It's gonna be he was like. A well known. He was a genius, but he was a bit of a bully. And um, if he went mm. at the end of a scene, you felt a million dollars. Oh, that means you did good. You knew that he, he liked what you did. Oh, okay. Hey, he's um, going to do it. Hey, 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 whenever I'm doing the voice acting, whatever, he's going to do mm, like every single time because I yeah, promise you, good. I'm nailing all my lines. He's going to he go, mm, 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 like Kanye, I promise you. Whenever I, whenever I voice act. You're not, a, you're not a big guy. Oh, who's that? You wouldn't have known Miyazaki son's work. Uh, he's like royalty in gaming, in a way. So hey, who's you this? Didn't feel the pressure, right? Sure. What's her name? No, and I think maybe that's for the best. I mean, Cherry, you do feel the pressure up. anyway because as an actor, I think we always do. Yeah. Um, but uh, Chiara. Maybe, yeah, I think. I, mean, was, I I felt pressure because they were on the call, and you know, you can sense that he's a very important person and that he's very invested and very involved. But in a way. Maybe not. Hey, uh, I like her eye color. Is helpful because then yeah. you know you're kind of just what I, I, you have to do. And you're I'm just giving her a compliment. In a, in a big machine. You know, but um, whoa, she only gets one day question, day bro. No, no. On day one, day one, I was a little bit. Hey, shout the Calvin. When you when you meet everyone, out, you you sort of on on the Zoom call because obviously they were all in Japan, and they, they must have been about. 15 of them all looking at me oh yeah they're deep i think my my the translator for my sessions was based in the u.s translating the japanese and then he was obviously then talking to our director in the uk who was also remote do you know of miyazaki remote with you? miyazaki was there yeah. yeah yeah and again i because i don't know this world i didn't yeah. really know wait this man it's this man miyazaki was there for every single session yeah i think that yeah, would have helped yeah. 
Because I think if I knew who he was, and you know, I I would have been. Yeah. Yeah, bricking it. Been a lot more nervous. Yeah, you would have been bricking it. Yeah. I was, I was really relaxed from that point on because luckily they turned the zoom. You don't actually see everyone for the whole session, but you can hear them. But it was. I loved that. Ex, you know, the experience of sort of, and we were changing like lines as we went because, you know, they were obviously writ, written in Japanese and then translated. So some of it didn't quite make mm, sense. Okay. And, it, and especially with me. I, I wanted to make him as Cornish as possible. Yeah, I would have done the so same thing. I, as a matter of fact, I would have changed the entire script. Like that. But that's just me. This game and, mm. and the Japanese guy whose name I'm not even going to try. Miyazaki. Yeah. yeah, Miyazaki is the sort of, you know, Spielberg of games making. Yeah. Kind of dude. I mean, like, he's like, yeah. yeah. Mm. You go, okay, well, this is clearly going to be pretty huge. Yeah. Otherwise, why would hey, I'm. I, I wouldn't be nervous. I, I really just clutched up. So I, we knew we were, we all knew we were working on something big and something special. But of course, at that time, at that moment, we did we weren't being able to see any of the visuals at all. It was just, you know, like I said, like hand drawn images of what the characters sort of looked like. Yeah. yeah. It's Miyazaki, isn't it? It's yeah. Name. Miyazaki. Yep. Okay, so I'm not the only one that's like that's like that messes up his name a little bit. He was on like a Zoom call like this, so he was in the room with us, if you like. Yeah. I mean, usually what happens with it, with the uh, auditions is they have a representative from the company, so there's usually someone from over from Japan. So everybody does their audition in a Zoom call. The director, uh, yeah. Yeah, but he was there this time and uh, could direct you during the audition if you like um so that was great so uh you, you really you, you could really sometimes you're second guessing even if someone's a very good middleman passing on what miyazaki might want it's much better coming from him mm, yeah him okay that makes sense yeah him what he wants yeah uh a direct line so to speak and um yeah and I knew uh, the, the the guy who was the English voice director. He was a uh, I've worked on lots of games with him. Yeah. Uh, and he was great. And yeah, it's just it's a very friendly atmosphere, actually. It's, that's hey, that's actually really nice to hear, though. Generally, that's really nice to hear. Computer games, radio, um, ads, whatever. It's a very it's a very friendly atmosphere. Usually, people aren't worried. About things that they are worried about when they do telly, they're not worried less about less egos. They less egos. They're not worried about how they look. They don't mm. have to look their best. They don't have to learn the lines. Mm. You know, it's all there on a screen for you. It's all about you just acting the, the lines. And and it, yeah, there's less ego there. But man, and so did do you remember if Miyazaki came in? Do you remember uh, and there being a translator for your work? There was there there was there was about four Japanese people mm. there. I'm not sure whether he was one. Bro, of them. so they, they bro, they wrote up deep yeah, every was, interview because they were kind of um they were very gentle. I mean, I've worked in Japan before, so I kind of know the Japanese a little bit, and they're kind of like I like the fact that they're kind of you know they're quite happy to they're not they're it's probably a bit of a generalization, but they're kind of nice know, on their heels a little bit, kind of very gentle. Kind of, oh, like, okay. you know, kind of, you know, whenever, whenever that they wanted something, they would do it through the director. So I never really heard them. It was all, they were all, always mm. were very well. They never, they never pushed their agenda at all. Mm. So they were kind oh. of they were very respectful of what Dan was doing with me in the first place. And they let that happen. Okay. Know? Right. So, so it's kind of like, and then, and then occasionally. Hey, y'all better be lucky. I, like I wasn't like a voice actor in here, bro. Been. In I would have won band. twelve Grammys, but I would I would have set a record. Whatever you call it, where they the, the knobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the booth, and I kind of like. So yeah, they were very, and they kept themselves to themselves. I don't think they came out and sh shook. We, I don't think I, I met them. Yeah, I did. I think we just did a. We didn't shake hands and stuff. We just did. I did a kind of thing like that, you know. Yeah. Oh no, I'm shaking hands. I'm getting like pictures that. and everything. Well, I can't lie to you. Been only one session for you. I think that I'm not sure whether there was one or two. Okay. There might have been so two. Long. Yeah, yeah. There might have been. But there too. was also they did the kind of thing of while you're here, could you um could you could you could you also give us a few 
Oh, like of deaths? Course, I would like you to die. Yeah, okay. Didn't the last guy say that? I think, the, I think the, la the, like, the last guy said that like five minutes ago. Can you give us that kind of reaction to that? And this one's going through the center of your head. Could you give, me a, could you give us a sound for that? Oh, my this God. One, this one is taking off your leg. So you, I spent half an hour doing... Um, this is what killed me more than anything else, actually. Sound-wise, voice-wise. The effort. Was uh, trying to do as many death cries as, mm. as possible for them. Because obviously they, there's a lot of deaths, isn't there? There's an awful lot of people being... <laughs> <laughs> so he's just throwing up. Oh, my goodness. Shout out to Dan Alley Gaming for... Um, this video was actually this video was very uh, like, you know, like behind the scenes, you know Voice actor is I kind of like do this every now and then I don't I don't really like, you know, react to this on the channel But shout out to Dan Allen. I thought it was very interesting uh, The Elden Ring DLC absolute success uh, I said success absolute success and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, man um, Listen my favorite boss from the Elden Ring uh, uh, DLC gotta be uh, the, the bro the XQC build dude with the two flames with the blue flame and the, uh, and, and the orange flame Definitely my favorite boss, man. Comment down below. What is your favorite boss from the Elden Ring DLC? So you guys have missed him out. And 